Rack, 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 league podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Radio Public, Good Pods, Pocket Cast, Breaker, and Stitcher. At Rack League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. At Rack League Pod on Twitter. Episode 130, available now. Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram or YouTube itself. What up, world? I just watched Kung Fu Panda 4. If you didn't gather by that title, it's the fourth entry in the Kung Fu Panda franchise. This stars the voices of Jack Black, Aquafina, Viola Davis, Brian Cranston, James Hong, Kiki Kwan, and it's directed by Mike Mitchell, who I didn't research it, but off the top of my head, I believe he directed Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo, and then Shrek Forever After, and the Lego Movie 2, the second part. If you've seen Kung Fu Panda 3, uh, Poe is given Master Uguay's, like, Jade yin yang staff of peace i don't remember specifically what it's called so he is basically becoming the new ugwe and has to pick the new him the new dragon warrior um viola davis character the chameleon is coming for all of that power and poe has to stop her New Kung Fu Panda, I'm excited. This is DreamWorks' most underappreciated franchise. I would say the, the first three are at least as equally as good as the three How to Train Your Dragon movies. I feel like... I feel like overall... The Kung Fu Panda franchise can hang with the Shrek franchise, but that's also including the two Puss in Boots movies. Shrek the Third and Shrek Forever After are watchable, but they're nowhere near as good as the first two Shrek movies. But the first two Shrek movies, in my opinion, are the best thing DreamWorks Animation has ever released into the theater. So, like, I still give Shrek the edge. I don't think Trolls comes close. They're enjoyable, but the quality just isn't there. And then the first two Madagascars could be in the discussion, but I dislike Madagascar 3 so much. So much. But then there's a solid spinoff in the Madagascar universe too. So like I just I'm a fan of DreamWorks animation, but there are peaks and valleys. Jack, Jack Black is still doing his thing. Like, I really enjoy Jack Black as Poe. To the point that, take away Tropic Thunder, Punk Kung Fu Panda, Poe in Kung Fu Panda might be my favorite things Jack Black has ever done. Respect to School of Rock. Um, but, like, I feel like Universal wanted to do this movie just to say that they added to the Kung Fu Panda franchise. But they did it with restrictions. Because, like... The Furious Five are in this movie, but none of the actors voice any of these characters. They have no speaking parts. So it's like, bring back, the like, give us a list of characters that you really need in this story. Give us the actors to voice these characters. We'll give you the budget. But none of, no Angelina Jolie's, no Seth Rogen's, no Lucy Liu's, no David Cross, no Jackie Chan. You can have Dustin Hoffman. Uh, I didn't say Dustin Hoffman at the top. That's my bad. Another strong villain, though, like the chameleon voiced by Viola Davis, I wouldn't say is as good as Tai Lung, the Gary Oldman character, or the J.K. Simmons character. Like, I'm, I can't remember their names while being put on the spot. But she adds a different element to what Poe has come across. I like don't think like in the first movie, P 
Poe is trying to become the Dragon Warrior, prove that he is deserving. The second movie is about finding inner peace. The third movie is about finding Chi. There's no like next level of Kung Fu in Kung Fu Panda 4, feel me? So like, I think points off for that. There are more aspects of him trying to find something that he found in a previous movie. So points off for that. And then also it felt like the writing borrowed other aspects of previous movies. So points off for that. I enjoyed this movie. I Man, like, it's going to be hard if DreamWorks has another franchise to hit four movies to be as strong as this. Because I feel like How to Train Your Dragon definitively ended so we can't get a fourth one. They could hypothetically do Trolls and Madagascar 4 but again, like those have other movies in their franchises, not as strong as any Kung Fu Panda. Uh, so yeah, like even while this may be my least favorite, this is still a very good and entertaining and funny movie. Like the little rabbits, violence makes our tummies tingle, are hilarious. Uh, the, the supporting characters in these movies are great. So... While I, there was a lot that I liked, I think there was also some slip-ups. So with all that being said, I will say that in my opinion, Kung Fu Panda 4 is dope. Have you seen Kung Fu Panda 4? What you think? Positive? Negative? Somewhere in between? Let me know. I uh, recently put up a review for Dune Part 2. If my theater gets it, Next weekend, I want to watch and review Arthur the King. A dog movie. Dog movies hit the emotions. And like, more times than not, I'm checking out new Mark Wahlberg movies. The weekend after that, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire finally comes out. The Roadhouse remake comes out too, but I just, I don't, I don't, not that I don't want to, like, they're lesser. I just, like, don't have the time to to edit and, and review and record all these streaming movies that come out so um be on the lookout for all of that man uh rec league podcast me and my guy rocket we talked doing part two spoilers among other things so uh like subscribe comment find me where you find me man don't know where to find me watch these credits peace